Apple, the tech company that we all know about. I mean, consistency, product innovation, we all know that Apple is great at these things. And it's a great thing to have your reputation built on that. However, what's happening behind the scenes is what is truly shocking. From working with Foxconn, a company that hires workers to work in harsh conditions, to allegations about obsolescence. I mean, come on, Apple has a dark past. And I'm Bobby, and we're going to be talking about Apple and its unethical practices. Look at all these guys in blue shirts. They get to work in really stylish, modern, innovative conditions. They get minimum wage, they get all the perks in their workplace, like health insurance, vacation plans, and all that kind of stuff. And many people actually desire to work in large, well-known corporations. The conflict around Foxconn and Apple has been around for a long time already. To the very fact that there's over 15,000 people working at Foxconn facilities is already staggering. These workers work for very low pay, about $1.85 per hour. They work long hours in unsafe and really bad condition. They barely get training, they don't get any, any perks, any insurance, their human rights are violated and the equipment where they, with what they work is very bad and outdated already. Of course, this is all tied closely to the very nature of Foxconn, which is tied around efficiency, production, you know, numbers and all that, uh, that kind of stuff. And all these riots and suicides, which, um, by the way, on about 14 of them happened only in 2010, and after which the company made their employees to sign a special agreement where they would promise not to commit suicide or they, they, their relatives would not get the compensation. All these things, of course, um, reflect on the image of Apple, which is very closely connected with Foxconn. So I'm sure that many of you have heard about the San Bernardino mass shooting, but I'm not just sure if you know that Apple refused to provide the necessary information um, to the U.S. government from capturing this terrorist. This is because the phone that the person was using contained necessary information and leads to get this person captured. Uh, we see here that this is a very controversial topic because indirectly Apple decided to take the side of the criminal instead of assisting the government because of privacy issues. Um, this kind of shows that at times Apple decides to take uh, a stance against the ball. Another questionable point about Apple's operation is the planned obsolescence of its software and hardware, which eventually makes the products, the devices, fail, and leaves the customers loyal but puzzled, wondering, and going to the stores and getting new products, replacing them. An example of this could be the 2015 update of iOS 9, which made impossible made it impossible to download and load uh, some websites. You know, the overall performance of the devices um, was slow and unproductive. Consistently, the updates of the operating system uh, drained the battery from the devices, and this cost people a lot in Apple stores to to get replaced. Um, this efforts are reported to be intentional most of the times. Although Apple's net worth is off the charts due to successful innovations, we know that all things associated with Apple are not positive. For example, Fox, Foxconn providing harsh working conditions for their workers and also Apple refusing to communicate with the US government just shows that Apple does not have a clean record. Additionally, Apple is constantly accused for planned obsolescence in terms of the devices. This just goes to show that Apple needs to work really hard and they have a tough road ahead to clean their name and improve their reputation in society.